Hello friends, welcome to Business Learnings and in this video we will talk about some undervalued stocks. Uh, the stock market has been down by more than 30-40% and you know in the coming days as the number of cases are going to increase worldwide, uh, we are going to see, you know, we can see more dip in the stock market and this might be a time to you know find the undervalued stocks and find the quality ones and invest into them uh, in this video i'll talk about what are my favorite stocks uh, three or four stocks which i think could do very well in the coming years and are decently undervalued at this point in time so let's start the analysis first is dmart uh, if you have been observing dmart you must have uh, seen that it has a limit of five percent both upwards as well as downwards and this is what prevents the speculative traders to come into the picture and this is what makes the stock you know the risk is very less the volatility is very less uh, and the returns are going to be huge uh, if you have been following dmart you must have must be aware of the news that uh, institutional investors uh, you know bought the shares of dmart at about 2000 rupees per share a few months ago and the stock price then touched an all time high of about 2500 a lot of potential in this stock and this organized retail sector is growing very fast you know of all the entire you know the retail market in india is about 1 trillion dollars and just 10 percent of that is organized and and you know even in that 10 percent reliance owns 20 percent of that so overall about two percent and dmart is less than 0.5 percent so a huge opportunity to grow here so i think uh, combined with the able leadership of uh, radha kishan the money i think this stock has way 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 high to go second is idfc first bank again uh, whenever i analyze a stock i focus I focus a lot on the kind of leadership it has and you know the sole reason I'm um, I'm supporting IDFC First Bank is because of Mr. V. Vedanathan who has an excellent track record of growing the retail sector of ICICI Bank and you know of all the banks that were doing worse off that were worse off in the last few months last few years uh, HDFC and ICICI Bank they were doing extremely well why because they were focused on the retail segment and you know this is what IDFC is focusing on building a retail book and they are very aggressive on reporting the NPAs so very good corporate governance and uh, right now as per my analysis the stock is hugely undervalued a few days ago you must have uh, uh, read a news that uh, Mr. V. Vedanathan sold some ESOPs. That's another story, and I'll probably cover in an another video. But that's not a negative news if you are thinking of it as promoter selling its own stake. No, it's not exactly that. It is that, but the implications are not exactly that. Third stock is Bajaj Finance, currently trading at about twenty six hundred rupees. All time high was close to five thousand rupees, and again, based on their focus on the retail and the able management and their excellent track record and the earning visibility i simply deduce that the stock has a way 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 um, long way to go but you know the possibilities are immense uh, <clears throat> another stock that i am keeping on my watch list is hdfc asset management company there are only two asset management companies listed in indian stock market hdfc amc and uh, nippon india uh, <clears throat> and you know the trend of mutual funds especially after 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 the ad uh, mutual funds Sahiya, which came way back in 2016 i guess 2016 or 17 a lot of people are focusing on mutual funds and the mutual fund penetration is quite low in india and industry has a huge possibility to grow these two being the leading players again uh you know the possibilities are uh, huge and uh, the stock used to trade at about 3800 rupees now it's down at uh, 2000 so you know the upside is uh, close to 90 percent um, and if you combine that in the if you if you do the growth projections for the next four to five years you might find that 
the opportunities are huge so yes these were uh, the stocks that i am keeping on my watch list and i will be adding these if you find that these stocks are worth investment you should do your own research you should consult your wealth advisors before investing uh, i've just presented my perspective and thanks for watching please subscribe to support my channel and please press the bell icon if you do not want to miss any updates uh, thanks a lot for watching see you in the next video bye